Hey guys, it's Amanda here, back with another Artsy Fartsy Friday video. This week's video is pretty exciting for me because it's my first art trade video that I've done ever in my life. And this is an art trade with the lovely Alexi Brewer here on YouTube. I'll have her channel linked down below so you can check her out. She's a super sweet, super talented artist and she works a lot with Copic markers like myself. So I reached out to her and asked her if she wanted to do an art trade book with me and she said yes which was awesome and we kind of just collaborated on this idea of creating our own science fiction characters based on an object that was given to us by the other person so Alexi gave me the object hourglass and so that was the object that I incorporated into my character and then she also said that my character had to have purple hair. He or she had to have purple hair which I thought was a really cool idea especially for like a sci-fi character. It was very fitting so yeah um, so this was a character design I came up with. I think she's kind of like a time warrior. I think that was kind of the direction I was going and she's kind of like you know like, I, I decided to call her, like, a Minute Maiden. I think that's a really fitting name because it makes me think of, like, the Minute Men, like, the men that were, like, ready to go to battle within, a, like, on a minute's notice. And so I kind of pulled the name from that, but she's, like, a, like a time lord or, like, a time wizard or something. Like, a hybrid between a wizard and a warrior. Got it? Like, that, that's kind of the direction I was going. And I incorporated the hourglass theme in her costume and in her sword. So she has a little hourglass logo on her outfit. She has one on her helmet and one on her little um, leotard thing that she's wearing. And so that's kind of like her calling card. And then on her sword, it kind of has an hourglass shape towards the base. And that just kind of made me think like her sword possesses some sort of like time manipulating powers. So yeah, that was, that was kind of the direction I was going. That's how I incorporated the hourglass theme. And then I gave her some awesome purple hair, which I love the way the hair came out. I think it looks so fun. So I'm really glad that um, Alexi requested that detail as well because I think it really made the piece very cool. So my color scheme was pretty limited. As you can see, I incorporated obviously purple for the hair, but everything else was pretty muted or pretty cool toned. And that was just because I wanted it to look very clean and very futuristic, um, a little bit modern, you know, that kind of thing. So her costume is actually pretty simple. And then the background, I incorporate some more of those purple colors by using my Copic airbrush system, which is why you saw me put tape all around the figure in kind of that square shape. And then I cut out a little piece of, I used, well, I used my X-Acto knife to cut out the pieces that overlapped with the figure so I could finish coloring, obviously. I was a little bit all over the place in the process of this because I was just having a lot of fun with the idea and kind of making it up as I go. So yeah, um, and also for Alexi's half of the trade, I gave her the object mirror and um, kind of just gave her artistic freedom from there. So if her collab is up by the time this video goes up, I will definitely link that down below. It'll be the first link in the description box so you guys can go check it out. She is a really sweet artist to work with and I had a wonderful first experience for doing an art trade. And it's definitely opened my eyes to doing more art trades in the future. So if you guys would like to collab with me, um, definitely shoot me a message here on YouTube or something like that so we can work something out. Because I think they're a lot of fun. It's a great way to interact with other artists and challenge yourself a little bit. So one thing I will say is that I am back in school now and my classes have started and my schedule isn't as busy as it was last semester, but I still don't know how much time I'm going to have, you know, in general, because um, I still do have to get up my normal art videos and everything like that. But if you do want to do a collab, definitely reach out to me and we can talk about doing that. Um, they are going to kind of be on like a personal basis. It's not really going to be like first come first serve. It's really just going to be on like how well our schedules work out and everything like that. Um, but I'm very open to doing it. So hit me up uh, if you want to do an art trade or a collab or something like that. Um, yeah, so 
I don't really know what else to say about the piece. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I also decided to give this character a darker skin tone, which I thought really complemented the whole look. I thought if her skin tone was too pale, she would like look too washed out with the costume. So I gave her like a really awesome kind of tan skin tone, which I do want to do more of this year. I want to do more skin tones and a you know broader variety of skin tones in my work because I think that it's it's necessary to do that. Um, I don't do a lot of, or in the past I haven't done a lot of that, so I want to incorporate that into my goals for 2016. Um, so yeah, I finished coloring her sword. As you can see, like there's the hourglass shape and then there's kind of like a lightning bolt shape within that, which matches her costume and stuff. So that was kind of the, just the design I came up with on the spot. Now I'm adding the airbrush effects in with just my little airbrush can and my Copic markers. I thought this came out really cool. It kind of looks like clouds or something like that, which I really like. Um, I love using my Copic airbrush system. In fact, I do need to get some more air cans so that I can do more of that in my artwork this year. Now I'm just removing the tape to reveal a nice clean edge, which as you can see creates a pretty cool effect, I think, and it brings a lot of focus to the figure. So that's it for this piece. Thank you so much to Alexi Brewer for agreeing to do this art trade with me and I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye guys!